Okay, guys. A um, little bit wet out and my little umbrella. All right, so just looking at this unit, the filters are good, belt's good. Uh, I see the wires are disconnected from this compressor. We've got a spider right here. Probably dead. Yeah, it's dead. Um, main, uh, the uh, low voltage fuse is not tripped, but um, I decided to check out the main uh, fuses inside the disconnect. I'll just let that sink in there for a minute. That is new. That is a new one for me. All right. Somebody does something like that. If you ever catch who does that, you fire them immediately. I'm sorry. You replace the disconnect or you put the proper fuse in. I might actually have that fuse in my van. All right, guys. Go to my van. All right, guys. Um, I do know this is dead. I do have it locked out and tagged out inside. After I cut off the zip ties to put in another fuse that I had on my van, it is a 60 amp one, which these ones are 60 amps. Now, this was zip tied, zip tied. It doesn't even fit in those, in the uh, contacts up there to hold the fuse holder, whatever you want to call it. Look at this. I see pictures of this stuff. This would cause a higher amp draw and could potentially either cause a fire or at the least trip a trip your fu uh, breaker blow the fuse or you could burn up your equipment most likely it was done when whoever decided to disconnect its compressor and leave it like this should not be done this way we're more professional than this i don't know who did this it's not right guys okay always stay safe and uh cover your butts okay there's a lot of shady people in this field okay stay safe Okay, now it's safer. Good. Okay, guys, I gotta go pull my lock off now. Have a good day.